really cool technology that the side is bringing is this is the, how the inside of the Android head unit looks like. This is the motherboard. Now when people are talking to me and they're just like, hey, what's the difference between this company, X, Y, and Z? They're talking about like, you look at the specs and it says 64 gigs of uh, internal storage or it has the same processor. The motherboard design is where things change. Now you can see here, we have the processor. This is the PX6. Now the size lets me touch this, so that's really cool of them. You have your, your processor right here, which is a system on chip. It handles pretty much everything. And then you have HDMI out. Now this is not HDMI in, it's HDMI out. So if you have video that you want to output to your headrest and stuff like that, you have that pop capability. Now this is the video out for the display to basically hook up to this. And then moving in, we have the 7080 chip right there, 708050 right there. And you can see the sound chip right there. That handles all most of the, all the audio. And we have, let me see if I can take this chip out. It's not breaking. There you go. So now this is, so now I have the processor. So if your processor ever breaks, you can replace it. And uh, for those who are interested in uh, built-in Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, this is where this chip handles it. So, um, yes, if you want Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, it is a hardware thing. You need hardware to do it. So that's why um, you can add it to your cart or you can keep out. There's also external options right there. So that's really cool. And then following up, I'll, this is going to be the... Wi-Fi chip right here. So if you guys want to look at the Wi-Fi chip, just knowing what's inside of it, it's just really neat. You have the Wi-Fi, you have the Bluetooth right here. And this is gonna handle your digital sound processor. This is the DSP. And for this year, I definitely, they were talking about how it's definitely cleaned up. They basically uh, reorganized the board, making it a lot more cleaner, better noise cancellation, like noise isolation and all of that. So the board designs are improving. So that's great for the customers. But yeah, things just looks nice and clean. And what I really like about the Cyta 2 is they have the micro SD cards. So not all Android head units have micro SD cards. Um, some of the cheaper ones um, omit that out of their motherboard. So it's nice to have that option right there. Anyways, that's a closer look at the insides of the Android head unit. Now, uh, big shout out to the side edge for um, letting us play around with their booth. Um, I mean, this is sick. This is like awesome. Thank you guys for watching. Catch you guys in the next one.